Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our part number 10. Inside this video session guys, we are going to download a simple bootstrap theme and start working over that. So if I back to browser, now this is the website called startbootstrap.com forward slash templates and inside from here, we are going to download a simple bootstrap theme. So if I copy this URL back to slide and this is the URL. So inside this URL, if I scroll down to our templates list, so we are going to use this blog home. So if we press this blog home and go inside this, here we have a free download button. So simply when we click on this button, we can download this template. So before making this video, I have downloaded this. So when clicking on that, it is going to provide you a zipped folder. So first of all, we need to make unzip of that. So I am making that and here we have. So if we click on this index.html and go inside this. So when we compare this layout, something called our blog home layout with this and this will be the same. So before making this video or to save our time, I have downloaded this template to my local system. And also one more thing guys that is from this video means for upcoming videos, we are going to use a new editor called Visual Studio Code. Why we are using Visual Studio Code? It's because by using this editor, this editor provides a rich tool sets of auto completion features as well as to save our time we have infilled features of that editor. So how can we download? This is the official website of code.visualstudio.com and here according to operating system of your, of your local system you can download any file from here. So right now my system has Ubuntu operating system so I have downloaded .deb file and successfully installed that. So let's say that if your operating system is Mac OS or Windows or Linux you can download accordingly your needed file and install in your local system. So right now the version is current version of this editor is 1.4.5 so if I back to terminal and check all about the current version what my system have so pressing enter and this is all about 1.4.1 so simply you can also download to a local system because from this video to upcoming videos we are going to use this editor and while using this editor we will understand that what what and why if we are using that so if I back to a directory, so let's get started about the downloaded theme. So what I'm going to do, go inside this WP content, let's say themes. So right now these are the folders what we have. So this is the folder we have worked up to our next video, means up to previous video. So what I will do, I'm going to open this folder, means this is in a WordPress setup. I'm going to open inside Visual Studio Code and inside this we have multiple features. First of all, let's say that if we want to zoom this editor, simply press Ctrl Enter and as we can see that we are zooming inside this. If I press Ctrl minus, it is going to zoom out. So this is zoom in and zoom out feature of this Visual Studio Code. Now go to WP content, themes folder, let's create a folder. So simply click on this new folder and let's say simple hyphen bootstrap hyphen theme. And as we know that from the previous lectures that is what are the needed files to create a theme. So we are going to create all those files first inside this folder because right now it is empty so I am clicking on that called new file icon if I press ctrl plus to make zoom in I am pressing inside this and let's say that style.css this is the file to make our theme introduction next we are going to create a new file called 
index.php. Next we are going to create a file called footer.php. Inside this folder, the another file we are going to create called header.php. And finally, the most important file of any theme called functions.php. So simply type functions.php. Now inside this simple bootstrap theme folder, we have like 4 PHP files as well as a style sheet file. Now inside this editor, as we can see that we have several files what we have opened. So if we want to close all the opened files, go here inside this open editors and click on close all. So simply we have closed all the files what we have opened inside this workspace. Now let's say that we are going to click on this style.css and we need to write some piece of code inside this file to save our time and to copy the code what we have written inside this simple basic theme. So click on this style.css, copy all the code, go to this theme directory, click on this style.css and pasting it here. So this is simple bootstrap theme. And here, let's say that all the informations will remain same. If you are interested to provide all the informations of a theme, then you need to go inside this 2019, 2017 or any of the WordPress theme. Simply go inside that, you will find all about style.css. And here, inside this, you can copy each introduction key and paste inside your theme. Now this is all about style.css. Let's put a screenshot.png to actually represent our theme image icon to our WordPress setup. So what I will do, this is the layout what we have downloaded. So let's say that I'm going to call it localhost because this is the theme what we have downloaded and set up inside this localhost projects and here is the path. So if I click on this standardized screenshot Chrome extension, now it is going to take an screenshot, click here to download. If I back to folder structure and here it is. So let's say that I am to rename that file. So simply this is our screenshot.png. I am to, I'm going to cut this file, go inside this directory WP content themes and simple bootstrap theme and pasting it here. Let's open about this theme directory inside our browser. So copy copy that. Go here. Let's localhost. And here it is. So if I press enter, it is opening all about our WordPress installation. Go inside WP admin because as we have activated simple basic theme, so that was the structure of that. So let's say admin, admin. So if I log in inside that, and this is currently activated theme. Now this time, we are going to work over this simple bootstrap theme. So click on activate. So simply, we have activated this theme. So go to its front end site. And there is nothing inside this because as we know that in the, inside this index.php, there is no content. So what I will do, go here, one folder back and here is the downloaded folder of this theme. If I open this index.html, so open inside this any editor, let's say g at editor because I want to copy or simply go inside this, press Ctrl U, copy all the code, back to editor and I am pasting all the codes inside this. After pasting this code, if we want to make our formatting of this HTML, simply press Ctrl Shift and I of editor. So Ctrl Shift I, it is going to format this HTML code. And also, let's say that while working, we don't want this left sidebar, simply press Ctrl B and it makes the hidden 
of our left sidebar and also again if you want back our left sidebar press ctrl b and here it is so if i save this file index.php back to our browser go inside this and here is the content but right now there is no css working as well as no javascript working because we have no code of adding style sheets inside this functions.php so we will start over this functions.php from the next video and one more thing about this editor if we want to use about this editor about reach tool sets we need to install some extensions so click on this icon go here and search for extension what if actually i have enabled before making this video this is something auto complete wordpress hooks if suppose in your system it is not installed simply type auto complete wordpress and it is going to give you a bunch of sections and you can simply click on install and install to your visual studio code editor so simply before making this video i have installed several so this is the first that you need to install if i scroll down here we have another call php intellisense next we need to install called woocommerce snippets as well as autocomplete this is all, all about wordpress development toolbar next we will have called the wordpress development so these are the extensions if you will download and set your in your visual studio code then it is going to be much helpful let's see one demo of that so if i open about functions.php go inside this and simply let's say function let's say test sample what we have defined a custom function and let's say that we are going to call this function inside this wp nq scripts as we know that this is our action hook so if i type add action as we can see that this is our editor intellisense which is populating all the available options now inside this add action if i type parenthesis inside this first parameter as we know that we need to pass our action name so double quotes and the intellisense say that what action hook we are going to use that so let's say that if we are going to call wp in q script and here it is so this is the action hook and simply in the second parameter we need to call this function what we have declared here so this is the intelligence of this editor so that's why we are using to learn from upcoming videos it is going to save our bunch of times while developing a custom theme so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day